Hello everybody, welcome to another video. Today I'm gonna show you how to make an origami 3D fish just like this too. This model is a variation of version I found on the internet. It has almost the same result, but I created a much easier method to do it. You can make it with more than one color and can vary the size as you wish. The only required material is a square of paper. If it has two colors, it starts with the main color facing down. Well, first of all, we have to divide this square into three. To do that, you can use a ruler or simply bend the paper sideways, making two curves, like a letter S. Then you just have to bring the edges closer And once done, you can flatten by making two small marks. Now, using the marks as guidelines, we can fold completely. First, let's bring one third of the right side to the left, folding on the first mark. Unfold. And now fold the other side to the right. The paper was divided into three vertically. Let's rotate the square and then let's divide into three again, just like before. Let's bend the paper, creating the two small marks. And next, let's fold the entire lines. With that, the square is divided into 9 smaller squares. For the next step, we need to turn it over and divide the 4 squares of the corners in half diagonally. So, to do that, we gotta close the square down, bringing the corners together, and then we flatten the paper by connecting the other two corners. Something like this. Let's repeat on the other three. Just fold in half diagonally bringing the middle up. That's the result. Now we also have to fold in half the middle square, but this time taking the middle down. We just have to close, bringing the top and bottom corner up. Once done, let's rotate. And now we have all these creases we can use as a guide. We'll have to make two new folds that cut these squares here. So, on the right side, let's bring the corner to the left side of the middle square Unfold and repeat the same logic with the other That's more or less the result Ok, keep in this position and let's go to the top side. We'll have to fold the corner square in half. So let's bring the top corner to that point where the lines intersect. Unfold and now we have a triangle. Inside the same triangle, we'll have to fold two new diagonals. To make the first one, just have to bring the left side to the bottom edge and 
And now the same with the right side. Just bring the edge down inside the same triangle. Just above these lines, we have a small space. Let's divide the same space in the middle. You just have to bring the corner to this point where the lines cross. Now, using the two previous lines, let's bring both sides down at the same time, thus creating a small flap. Let's do the same with the opposite corner. Just folding head. Create the two diagonals. Fold the top corner. And close. We have done all the necessary marks to start. Well, first we'll have to close the paper using these lines here. Just close the corner squares and the paper will automatically assume the correct shape. Bring both sides to the middle and the paper closes more or less like that. We bring the other side forward, if necessary. And close by bringing the flaps down or up if you want. Reinforce a little. Try to make it really sharp. And let's go to the next step. There is more than one way to make the tail. But I recommend that you bring the first flap up. And now let's fold the triangle in half diagonally. Just like before, bring the top edge to the horizontal crease just below. Reinforce. And bring back down. Fold using the existing crease. Now on the other side, let's keep the flap down and then fold in half diagonally. Just bring the diagonal edge to the middle and bring it up. On the back we can open the paper and fold the extra paper inside using the existing crease. Close just to reinforce a little. Turn it over and repeat with the other. Just have to bring down using the existing line, keeping both inside this space. Now the origami is almost ready, but to make the mouth close properly, you need to bend the paper that is inside. You can make something like a letter S, or simply bend to the side. As you can see, now the mouth closes much more easily. Here, another example that I made just by bending the paper to the side, the result is almost the same. And that's it, our 3D origami fish is ready! It wasn't that hard to do, and the result looks amazing. Congratulations to everyone that was able to do! If you are not yet subscribed, I ask you to subscribe to my channel, and also click like to help my channel to grow. Thank you very much for watching, see you next time!